and welcome to The Print. I'm Akshya Nath, Senior Assistant Editor with The Print. In a major setback, Tamil Nadu Minister for Higher Education K. Punmudi and his wife P. Visalakshi have been sentenced to three years imprisonment and a fine of Rs 50 lakh each with a Madras High Court in one of the multiple disproportionate asset cases faced by the couple. Mr. G. Jayachandran, after pronouncing the order, suspended the sentence for 30 days to allow Punmudi to appeal in the Supreme Court. A six-time MLA, Purnmudi, was a professor of politics before entering electoral politics. With a PhD and triple masters, Purnmudi is among the most academically qualified people in the Tamil Nadu state cabinet at present. Purnmudi has ensured that the northeast district of Vilupuram in Tamil Nadu, the largest in the state according to the district's administration website, remains under the DMK's control. Setting aside a trail court's order of 2016, which acquitted Punmudi and his wife, on Tuesday, December 19, the Madras High Court had convicted the minister and his wife in a rupees 1.75 crore disappropriate asset case. The conviction comes in reference to uh, the disproportionate assets case against uh, Punmudi 73 during the period 2006 to 2011, when he was Minister of Higher Education and Mines during the then DMK regime. In its final report, the Directorate of Vigilance and Anti-Corruption, DVAC, in 2011 had noted that the couple in April 2006 had assets worth Rs 2.71 crore and by May 2010 had an increased asset of Rs 6.27 crore at the end of the check period. It was alleged that the minister had amassed wealth to the tune of Rs 1.75 crore disproportionately during this period in his name and that of his wife. This was 65.99% more than the source of income that the couple had. The case which was initially heard by a trial court in Villapuram had acquitted the minister and his wife in 2016. The following year, the DBAC went on an appeal against the trial court's order in the Madras High Court. On Tuesday, Justice Jay Chandran observed that the prosecution without doubt had proved that the charges of offence punishable under the Prevention of Corruption Act 1988 had been proved against both the accused. The MHC pointing that the trial court by treating the minister and his wife as two separate entities and the judgment of the trial court, the MHC said, was palpable, wrong, manifestly erroneous and demonstrably unsustainable. Justice Jay Chandran said whether the spouse of a public servant should be treated as a separate entity or as a part and parcel of the public servant would depend upon the facts of each case. In the present case, even if effective business was done by the firms in the names of the spouse, the evidences indicated that she was only a name lender for the operations done by the public servant. He also added that just because a person has separate income tax accounts and some businesses segregating the accounts and properties of the person who has aided the public servant uh, to hold his ill-gotten property will lead to miscarriage of justice. A miscarriage of justice which may arise from acquittal of the guilty is no less than from the conviction of an innocent, the court further added. In July, Punmudi and his son Kalakurchi MP Gautam Sigamani's properties were raided by the Enforcement Directorate and were questioned by the ED with regard to a DVAC case from 2012. The case alleged Punmudi, the Minister for Mines and Mineral Resources, between 2007 and 2011 of abusing his power and of giving quarry licenses in favour of his son, friends and relatives. The ED probe is still underway in the case. In August this year, Justice N. Anand Venkates of the Madras High Court had initiated a sumoto revision of the acquittal of the Minister by Vellore Principal District Court in a disappropriate assets case from 2002. DVAC in the case had filed that during Purnmudi's ministership between 1996 and 2001, the minister, his wife and three others had amassed disproportionate asset to the tune of Rs 1.4 crores. That's all I have for you on this update from Tamil Nadu on a senior minister's conviction by the Madras High Court. We'll have to wait and watch as to what will be the next move, but 30 days time period has been given to Ponmudi to appeal in the Supreme Court. I'm Akshay Nath, Senior Assistant Editor with The Print.